Hello and welcome to our new YouTube channel, Badminton Insight. I'm Jenny, this is Greg, and we're both currently international badminton players and Greg is also a coach. And we thought with our experiences and insight we could provide you with some educational videos to help you improve your game. Our videos will include tips, tricks, practices and techniques and much more. Yeah, over the years we've seen uh, some content on YouTube that's not that credible, so we wanted to really help you get access to really good content, um, also tips and tricks like Jenny said, so that you can improve your game. We thought, as we're in isolation, we'd start it off by giving you some stuff that you can do at home, um, and hopefully in the next few videos we'll talk about some challenges and then also some techniques that you can work on from home. We're aiming to look at right from beginners right up to kind of elite level badminton. So hopefully stuff for everyone. So let's get to it. One exercise we can do in lockdown is wall hitting. And that's really important to help improve many aspects of your game. Uh, we can improve our forearm strength if we do it for long enough. We can improve our reactions and we could also make sure we're moving the feet whilst hitting the shawl. We can do it in many ways, um, but the technique mainly if we're doing it in a defensive way is to obviously ha have our legs quite low, have our elbow out using a backhand grip mainly, although we can change grips. All you need is a shuttle, uh, a racket and a very small space in the wall like so. So as you could see there, Jenny had her legs slightly bent and was adjusting her feet accordingly. Okay, she had her elbow out and she was using a thumb to generate the power, having short swings. Now through our videos we will talk about the grips and we'll talk about that more when we can get back on court. But just to demonstrate the backhand grip if you're struggling with it, we can use a frying pan which I'm sure you all have in your kitchen cupboards. So you have it like so, okay, and you can put your hand on the frying pan like you would. Um, and then with your thumb on top and then you just turn it over and that's exactly the same as it would be racket in hand so there and then turn it over and then that's your thumb okay and you can actually hit like so but for those people struggling with the backhand grip it's going to beginners it's going to be hard to do wall hitting if you're a beginner okay because it's quite quite a complex skill so if you're a beginner you can practice just being in your backhand grip with with your racket, or you could even try a frying pan and just getting someone to throw shuttles to you and just hitting it back and try and generate more and more power, okay? You can also generate the power with your thumb and index fingers. So if you have these two fingers off, that's what's generating the power. It's like in a lift in, in badminton or in your defense, that's what is generating the power. So have that nice and relaxed and that gets you and emphasizes relaxing the fingers. Now we have a challenge for you at home. How many wall hits can you do in 30 seconds? Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, and stop. Yeah, but windy conditions. We hope you can enjoy having a go at that challenge at home. Um, in our next video, we're going to look at variations of the wall hit. So we're going to look at changing grips from backhand to forehand grips. We're going to look at doing it with a heavy racket, squash racket with a ball, uh, and then also some trick shots. If you've enjoyed our first video, please subscribe and leave any feedback you have in the comment section below.